hello everyone today we will be making this crocheted bell flower here are the materials you need some yarn a 3 mm crochet hook yarn needle and the stitch marker okay let's begin start with the magic circle right Wrap your starting tail around your two fingers, like so, and have it on top of each other, forming the legs, forming the later X. And grab your hook and place it underneath the button yarn. And then over the top yarn. And put it through the loop. So this create your slip knot in the magic ring. Next, we are ready to work six single crochets. So hook into the ring, grab the yarn from underneath, and bring it back up. The yarn over and pull through two loops oh here is a single crochet the help for later tip use a stitch marker a safety pin to mark the first stitch of every year round so as not to lose your stitch count okay this is the first stitch let's continue we should have a total of six single stitch. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Don't too tight. We can pull the starting tail to bring the stitches together okay let's remove the stitch marker and the slip stitch to join the round Don't yarn over and put it through the loop. Okay. For round two, chain one and do two single stitches in each stitch. So just put our hook underneath our yarn and just put it, pull it through the loop on our hook to create a chain and then do two single crochets in each stitch. Okay, let's remove the stitch marker. You should have a total of six single stitches by the end of the round. Slip stitch to join this round. For round three, chain one and do single crochet in the first stitch.
and then do two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, repeat this pattern until the end of the round. One single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochets in the next stitches. You should have a total of 18 stitches. Slip stitch to join this round. Okay, remove the stitch marker. Slip stitch to join the round. Okay, for round 4 to round 7, we are now trailing at the start of the round. Instead, just one single crochet in each stage. You should have a total of 18 stitches. Repeat this pattern until end of the round 7. For round 8, chain 1 and do a single crochet in the first stitch. And then do the middle 3 in the next stitch. Okay, go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, stop, go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that does make a perfectly good decrease. Continue, one single crochet, and then one single crochet decrease in the next stitch. Stop, go into the next stitch. Okay, four, three, three, three loops. Okay, repeat the pattern until the end of this round. One single crochet. Okay, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Slip stitch to join the ground. For round line, chain 1. And do single crochet in the first stitch. And then do a half double crochet also in the same stitch. You wrap your yarn around the hook and then you also insert the hook into the same stitch. Then you reach back here and pull up a loop. So we are now have three loops on our hook. Next you wrap yarn round hook and you're bringing it through all three loops that's the half double crochet next 
a double crochet also in the same stitch. So we are going to yarn over, go back through the same stitch, and grab our yarn and bring it up. So now you have three loops on our hook. Now yarn over your hook again. And this time you want to push through the two loops on our hook. And pull through the last two loops. Now In the next stitch, on contrary, one double crochet, one double crochet, one half double crochet. One single crochet in the next stitch. That means three times in the same stitch. Okay, next we'll continue. Repeat this pattern. One single crochet, one half double crochet, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then one Double crochet, one half double crochet, one single crochet in the next stitch, you should have six petals. You should have six petals. Slip stitch to join the round. Okay, we have done. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. If you have any questions or any problems, please feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching. And in the next video, I will show you how to crochet the leaf. Bye.